what's going on. It's House from bestrevenuewriter.com. I have a short video today, but this one tip can make a huge difference to your B2B sales process and the effectiveness of it. One of the biggest reasons I've seen new B2B sales representatives fail is because when they get integrated into the company, one is the lack of training and development that they go through. What typically ends up happening is the rookie that starts ends up getting paired with the top person. And then that person coaches them and shows them the ropes, so to speak. The problem with that is that a lot of the time, your top sales rep has been there for a while. They've had time to develop a book of business. So when they're placing their calls, they're doing their sales presentations, perhaps even doing cold call and prospecting in some rare occasions, they already have a book of business that they're working. They have contacts that they've been reaching out to for months, if not years. And what that does is it sets up an unrealistic expectation for the rookie. So here is what actually happens. And here's the reality of the situation. It's not a testament to their skill because the thing is, when this rookie is starting, they're going to be doing a lot of outbound outreach. They need to have time to build familiarity with their market. If you have a very specific client segment that you reach out to, they're not going to have the time to develop familiarity that it takes for someone to be comfortable enough to lend you 10 to 15 minutes of your time if you're setting meetings or setting appointments. Simply, the human psychology is trained to look at new people as either a threat or someone of non-interest. That's how we're wired throughout history.